It just works better than
Billy Spurs on the 60 days with Billy Spurs. And then she came out there and had a party at a party at the house or whatever. And she came out and he said, look, woman, what you doing with that dress on? And then she like, better make you dress. She said, you brought me the dress. He said, look, that's the greatest. I know the scene. I know the scene. I know the scene. You gotta see that. That's a bust. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, woman, it was all he had to play himself. He said, look, woman, I brought you the dress for me. I went by myself. And he said, ah, fuck you, nigga. He said, look, if you don't go upstairs and take that dress off, I'm gonna make that dress. That's why this world got to go, man. It teaches all these, these women to play dumb and play stupid. You know, damn well, that's for your man, you know? You got women, oh, is this too short? Is it? You know, that's how women, they try to act like they get in right to you. bitch, you want to be wicked, man. Yeah. Right at the end of the yeah. day, but that's why this place is going to be destroyed. And we, we had the last days that was always talking about. You know, everybody's out here partying, having a good time. Yeah. Yeah. You know, they got the new casino opened up down there. Everybody's pressing their luck. All right? But, but, yeah, you got Stevie. Oh, Stevie's in there? Yeah, Stevie. Yeah, yeah. There's your blind ass. Yeah, they go Stevie. They go Stevie. With your blind ass, Stevie. Hey, I'm going to get you too. Right, because Stevie know that he's an Israelite, man. But he, but he's trying to mix Israel with that bullshit Africanism. We're not Africans, man. That's right. We the real Israelites. That's right. Give me home. Um, like I got a scripture about the shot. And he's good to you. Isaiah 58 and 1, man. And Stevie Wonder, Aretha, Aretha Franklin, <laughs> just dropped that nigga. You was next, nigga. <laughs> you a witch. You a high level witch, Stevie. I know yeah. you are. Hey, but I'm going to be honest. I love your music. Yeah. 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 No, but I'm going to be no, I, know. I grew up on this. Good music is good music. Nigga, I grew up on your music, man. Yeah. You bad, but you a nigga. Yeah, but, but yeah. It, it don't matter about how bad you is in this world. It matters if you're part of the elect, man. Yeah, yeah. And, 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 and seeing the thing is, for you to be on, on that level musically, that's in yeah, other yeah, flesh. Yeah. Spiritually, you ain't on no level. First of all, Stevie Wonders will have a beard on his face, man. Why did he care? He can't see the shit. So why do you even care about that? Because why? You have the world, you got the people around your handlers, oh, you're scruffy, Steve, you gotta shake up. They sit there and lather all that oh, yeah. cream upon you all and everything. Side, all of a sudden, he ain't got no fear. Yeah. No, Steve, you wonder, oh, he said that. Oh, I, I, I'm... He's going to have the afro in the 70s, he had the afro, then he grew the braids, then he grew the dreadlocks, he had the beard. He had the beard. He had the beard. He had the beard. He had all shaped up and shit. Well, the 70s was a whole other time. The 70s was that time that he grew up with everybody in the 70s. Well, even James Brown, he had the cock. But in the 70s, James shaved the cock. Uh, James Brown, James, that was the time, you know? Yeah, because it, more so because it was it's a trend, not because the Lord said it. That's why, the things can I read this, man, the most sides going to kill a lot more niggas, man. Isaiah, right? Isaiah, right, Isaiah, chapter 58, verse 1. Cry aloud. Right, cry aloud. You hear the elders, the apostles, and brothers, they crying aloud. The Lord said, cry aloud, go ahead. Spare not. Spare not. We ain't supposed to be, just because we, like the apostle said, we like your music, Stevie, but that don't mean you get a pass on wickedness, man. If you wicked, you wicked. That's right, you see, you heard the lady. You see, like, read on. Lift up thy voice like a trumpet. The Lord said, lift up thy voice like a trumpet. That's why we speak loud. The Lord said, lift your voice like a trumpet. Go ahead. And shoot my people their transgressions. And show my people their transgressions. Yeah, by the way, if I can say this, yes. you ain't reading the, the Quran. No. The Bible. That's right. The Holy Bible. King James Version. That's right. We ain't reading from no goddamn Quran or no other book. The same book you people claim to believe in. Mm -hmm. Tonight you are here partying, freaking out. But then come tomorrow, you go to church and tell them, oh, the Lord, the Lord. Give me Romans 13. You people, a lot of you people are a bunch of goddamn hypocrites. And that's why your Howard by a ship, your Howard Shad, going to destroy all of you, man. That's right. Romans chapter 13, verse 11. Verse 11. When I was a child, I... Romans 13. 
That's all right. That's all right. Take your time. Take your time. Hey, because like the brother said, a lot of you people are hypocrites, man. A lot of you people don't want to hear what the most I got to say, but you'll run to go hear what Stevie Wonder's got to say or what Donald Trump got to say. Well, they ain't telling you the, the real deal. The real deal is the Lord is about to destroy America, man. All right? That's why you see chaos happening throughout the world. You got all these other nations gathering together against America, man. It's time for America's judgment, man. Go ahead, brother. Romans chapter 13, verse 11. Uh-huh. In that knowing the time. In that knowing the time. How many of y'all really know what time it is, man? Right? A lot of people talk about, I know what's going on. You don't know what's going on. If you knew what time it was, you'd be getting yourself ready for the second coming of the Lord. So you don't know what time it is, man. In the, knowing the time, go ahead. That now. It that is, now. It is high. That now. Not next year, next week. Oh, oh I, I hear what you brothers are saying. But I got to go take care of this. I got to go see Stevie Wonders. The Lord said, no. That's why the Lord ain't going to hear your prayers and your cries. When you pray to him because of the judgment coming down, he's not going to hear it. What? Read it, read it, my brother. That now it is high time to wake, to awake out of sleep. Wake out of sleep. You call yourself Puerto Rican, Latino, you are asleep. You call yourself black, Jamaican. You are asleep. You call yourself an American. You're asleep. You don't know nothing about the truth. What? Right. First of all, American, that's a fictitious identity. Show me American in the Bible. The Heavenly Father didn't create you to be no American, man. Well, can I say this? That's a lot. Can I say this guy hey, today? You so go white. Hey, you're laughing now. What the fuck is that? Oh, raggedy bar flies. Those are bar flies, man. Hey, that's the spirit of America. Bar right? The spirit of America, right? I'm going to call it out. They laugh because they want attention. Those are bar flies. Oh, big butt, snubby, snubby Joe, but white woman bar flies, man. Okay, right. The spirit of America. That's the spirit of America. They laugh it because they want attention. Yeah. Sloppy Joe, yeah. Okay, so sloppy. I'm gonna leave the kid. I'm not even gonna let Sloppy Joe. That's why Esau got his hair Esau gonna get fucked up, man. Esau, you got your goddamn mind. Esau got a lot to pay for. I like the box macaroni and cheese. I watch the ID channel. You women are gonna get your hair ID. The most I mean, but the judgment of Wait, wait a minute. Let's check out some recent one. Over there in the Bronx, they found some chick chopped up. At first, they didn't know who the hell she was. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They tried yeah. to paint a picture. Yeah. Do you know this painting, who that might be? Yeah. <laughs> now they find out who it was. And then the broad didn't look nothing like the painting. She was hot. Whoa, whoa, she whoa, was hot. Whoa, 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 whoa. Was whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, but you, you show me. Yeah. Uh, down in New York, the Mary J. Blige, the chicken that's been spent. Oh, yeah, yeah. The, 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 the Mary J. Blige. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the scary J. Blige boots. But she was dead like a motherfucker. Yeah. She was all flopping around. So the Lord, so the Spirit of the Lord, the Lord is dealing with these women, man. And we bring up that scripture with the uh, uh, rise up these women there at East. I said 32 and 9. You know, and right now, that, but I, just part of, I just parked my car in that damn garage. You know, all them black chicks in there going to go see Stevie Wonder. Oh, they going to hey, see Stevie Wonder. Hey, VIP, VIP, out my way. <laughs> hey, brother, I, I brother, real soon, man. Real soon, we're going to humble a lot of you. All you brothers, a lot more you're going to be putting it down. Put it on out, brother. Yeah, cut. Hold on, I got, I got a little something real quick for you, my brother. This is Ecclesiasticus chapter 39, verse 28. There be spirits that are created for vengeance. Right. Now they're worried about, oh, was this a gang killing? Does MS-13 have something to do with this killing or whoever? It's the Lord that did it, man. Whoever chopped them up, the Lord put the spirit on that person to chop that chick up. Not any, not any or anybody just go chop a chick up. Yeah. One dude, he chopped a chick up, he broke it down. He said, I just killed her. He said, I, 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 I got her from the back, I stabbed her, yeah. and then I just took my, I, I just chopped off her arms or her neck, so I chopped off her thighs, I chopped off her legs. He broke it down, man. It's good, it's good. The Lord is the one that put the spirit on these people to do all that shit, man. It, Now check this out. The heinous crimes that you call. And, and that, yeah. same, that same chick that you're talking about, right, she witnessed prior to that, 
bring this her mother right get, get slaughtered right in front of her by a and she was nine months pregnant. And she was nine months You guys are good. You guys are good. Go, go. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. But now check this out. I got another one for you, my brother. This, this is uh, Job chapter 4, verse 7. It says, Remember, I pray thee, whoever perish, being innocent. Oh, can I say something? Last night I was with my woman watching, uh, we got to go on the bus, they watch it. They got to go the ID channel, all the stuff. You know, you know, how much cable and stuff. Yeah, everybody. The fire stickers, everything. That's what you're So we watch uh, the ID channel, all the shit on the ID channel. You know, we watch uh, your worst nightmare. And uh, I saw this episode before. You saw that. I did a video on my page. The white man. I did that video, I think, last, the other week. I think I did a video going into the fact of you so called white people are the devil. Right? These little young Edomites, they, from the time they're going to test the Bible, they go astray as soon as they begin to speak their lies and hypocrisy. Yahweh Shad. Uh, uh, John 8, 44, talked about Esau. He was talking to niggas, but look, see, we gotta go right on that. Brothers said, well, he was talking to Israelites. Yes, in John 8, 44, he was talking to niggas, niggas. But who was he talking about? Referring them to the devil. He was referring them to Esau. Hold that one second. I want to make my point here. The spirit of Yahweh, Basha, Yahweh, John 8, 44, Back in one west, we used to bring that scripture out pertaining to Esau. It is pertaining to Esau. It really is. Esau is the devil. Yahweh Shai, our Lord and Savior, he was saying, you niggas are so goddamn wicked, y'all just like the white man. Y'all yep. got the same spirit as the white man. Yeah. And that's what Yahweh Shai was saying in John 8, 44. He was saying, you niggas are just like your daddy, Esau. So for all you people that want to know, when y'all say the Israelites we talk about the white man's devil, John ain't going to talk. That's an actual scripture where the one where Yahweh Shai, the Savior, called the white man the devil. He called the white man the devil. So according to the Bible, we can show you, we can prove the white man's the devil. That's right. John 8, 44. I'm talking to others. What you got? John, John 8, verse 44. Ye are of your father the devil. Ye are of your father the devil. Because remember what they said. They said, if we believe on him, the Romans will come and take away all that we have. So they, the white man was their daddy. They said, oh, no, we can't look at the white man. They look at the white man. The Romans, which is the Romans with a so-called white man, they're going to take our goodies away. Okay? Just like those back to the dominant Greeks, these niggas, eat up your father and the devil, and your whole child was insulting you. You awful time sell out there, he's soon in the In the lust of your father, he will do. Come on, come on. He was a murderer from the beginning. Stop. Who was the murderer? Who, was, who does the Bible handle as the first murderer? Who does the Bible handle as the first murderer? Cain. Now we didn't broke down that Cain and Esau is the same person. And the mark that the Lord gave Cain was leprosy. That's right, that's right. The Most High, Cain was a dark skinned man, and the Most High made him into a leper. Who? Hey, my man. Yes. Hey, that's why when you read Numbers, the 11th chapter, 2 Kings 5 and 27, and then Exodus 4 and 6, when Moses put his hand and took it out and said, turn lepers white as snow, happened also with Miriam and Naaman. To show you that leprosy is when you turn pure white. And Esau overall is red because the blood show forth through that white leprous skin. God, I just want to throw that in there. No, you might. Yeah. Miriam. Yep, Miriam. The yep. black woman talking shit. Okay. See? But nowadays, the black woman would have... Uh, oh my God, thank you, Lord. <laughs> yeah, and when she talked to shit about it, because Moses had an Ethiopian wife, a woman of another nation, and the Lord said, how dare you talk about my servant? Now, he didn't do nothing to Aaron, but he cursed Miriam and turned the leprous as snow, showing you that certain things that certain men of the Lord could get away with that others can't. 
Yeah. And all these women right now are heathen. The white woman is the ultimate freak beast heathen, but the nigger woman, the Latino woman, has surpassed their deeds. Oh my God. Yeah. Freak of freaks. Oh, come on, man. Yeah. yeah come freak. on, man. Get a freak of the week. Yeah. Come on, man. That's, that's reality. That yeah. That's reality. Okay. Speed on. Back in the time, 844, in a bold, not in the truth. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, my goodness. Uh, uh, uh. And it said a bold, not in the truth. Cain, going back to Cain, because the Lord told Cain, if you do right, you're going to be okay. But if Cain didn't do right, he killed his brother, man. That's right. So, that proved that Esau and Cain is the same guy. Uh, whole camp, whole camp, whole camp. You a man, whole camp. I said it, I did the videos on you earlier. You are agent, and I know you are agent. We know you are. Okay? You are agent, man. And I know that. And even the agent. He, 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 he he's, he's going real hardcore on Apostle Taha. He has a personal thing against Apostle Taha. But he's a weak agent. Yeah. Only because yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Only because Apostle Taha is in your head already. Yeah. Apostle Taha then got in your head and got you all fucked up. And, and seeing it spiritual too, the most hot Christianity is dead already, man. Yeah. You come in with that, that man, niggas ain't still thinking like we in the, uh, in the plantation. See, that work, that work from slow, slow belly ass niggas, man. All right, but 2018, the Lord, his word is out here, man. We awoke, you can't, nigga, that's, that, the shit you doing is child's play, man. You're cut. You a low level agent, man. Yeah. You're small in the Bible. You're small in the Bible. <laughs> yeah, okay, see, they're, 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 they're folly demons. Hey, you okay, know, you a folly demon. Yeah. You know what? The spirit yeah. told me to get at your ass because you just a faggot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Hey. And that black bitch you got what you was proves everything that the spirit is saying, man. Get on. Because there is no truth in him. Talking about the so-called white man. Get on. When he speaketh a lie, he speaketh of his own. So wait a minute. Who is he? How was y'all talking about? You talking about Esau. Yeah. Yeah. Which you just put the Romans were Edomites. That for he is a liar and the father of it. But earlier in the verse that he of your father the devil. So oh, I never hear his no brothers and sisters we were going off. There's no way in the Bible when he says the white man is the devil. No, John 8 44. The white man is the devil. That's scriptural, man. Well, Revelation the second chapter. Uh, Revelation the twelfth chapter. Yeah, but the, the, the second chapter, you can't, if I may, matter of fact, can we get that real quick? Get Revelation yeah, shoot with this thing, brother. Shoot with you know, this Because at the end of the day, the so-called white man always was the devil according to the Bible. It was just that he sponsored around and made you so-called niggas and Latinos think that you were the devil. He flipped it. All right. Okay. John 1231. Now the judgment of this world, now shall the prince of this world be cast out. Right, which right, and that's yep. prophecy, and that's the time we in. The prince of this world is a so-called white man. Who got Revelation 2 and come, come with it? Revelation chapter 2, verse 10. Uh -huh. Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Right, and this is the Lord. He said, fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Because what? The real men of the Lord, we suffer persecution. Why you think? It ain't no... I mean, yeah, there's a lot of shit going on. But why you think they moved us off our spot, man? Because we so numb to it and we're used to it. We know how they come against us. But we still going to push out the word. Because the word is going to go out. Regardless, the word of the Lord is going. The Lord said His word should not be. Shall cast right. It's a fair none of the things that thou shalt suffer. Behold, that's Satan, man. Satan been messing with the feed all day. But check this out, man. That's right. That's right. Okay, that's right, man. Said, behold, the devil. Right, the devil. It said, behold, the devil. So who are we speaking about here? We are speaking about the devil. And guess who's going to tell you who the devil is? God, behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison. Shall cast some of you into prison. So who's responsible for locking people up into the jail cell? Who's the head of the police department? Yep. Chief Kaminsky, the so-called white man. The so-called white man. Even though you got wicked yeah. ass ones of our people, you got but wicked then, Negroes, you got wicked Hispanics, yep. you got wicked Native yep. Americans who 
come yeah. police. But, but guess what? But you are part of the devil's system. Command. That's when with the scripture you quoted earlier, John 8 and 44, how was I got at him. He said, you are of your father the devil. Because you got the so-called wicked ni niggas and Latinos. They try to, you know, please uh, the so-called white men. But let's keep it real. Who's really the, the cops? Who's the, who's all the guys that run the police force? Who's the yeah. shots? Who calls the shots? The so-called white man, man. Well, uh, so hey. when it says that the devil should throw some of you into into, into the prison, prison. Yep. that's speaking about who? The so-called white man, man. Yep. All right? Who's the one that's primarily shooting down the majority of these so-called Negroes and, and Latinos in the street? The so-called white man. Right. So when you read that, that's speaking about the so-called white man. A lot of people are scared to say that name. The so-called, you say the so-called white man, they say, well, what about blacks that do do evil yeah. too. Yeah. What about black yeah. devils? Yeah. That's, that's, a yeah. that's the slave yeah. mentality. Yeah. Stockholm Syndrome. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. That's Stockholm Syndrome. Yeah. Where you where you Negroes, you love your oppressors so much that you give them a pass for anything that they do. And you want to throw your own people up in there. Yeah. That's Stockholm Syndrome. When the scripture was speaking about the, who was ruling over them. The Roman Empire, the so-called white man, was ruling over us. So back then, it was the so-called white man throwing the Israelites in prison. Okay. This is 2,000 years ago when the law was on the scene. Okay. Now, 2,000 years into the future, it's the same Roman system set up here in America doing what? Imprisoning Israelites, taxing Israelites. Yep. Yep. Putting uh, burdensome taxes on us right now still to this day. Yeah. You get your check. And somebody else already took money out your check before you even get your home yeah, check. That's what. Yeah. And that's what. You know what? That's, that's the so called white man. That's the devil. That's what. Hey, Amen. It's good to say they oppress a man. They oppress a man in his heritage. Well, that's the so called white man. That's what they all have. They oppress a man in his heritage. Your father or your mother, your grandfather leaves you a piece of property, and they pass on and they leave it to you. Here comes the so called white man. Um. Uh, Boom, he comes in and they got a thing called inheritance tax. The scriptures say they oppress a man in his heritage. So now you gotta pay an inheritance tax for a house or property that's already paid for. That's wicked. That's already owned. Because it was it's given to you as an inheritance. The so-called white man puts a tax on that's crazy. Inheritance tax. So they oppress a man and his heritage. Wicked. Yeah, but right? you gotta pay the because like no, no, exactly because no, well no, it's probably it's called uh property tax because okay let's say uh your father leave you some land your father died and your father leave, leave you leave you the land. Tax. you still gotta pay property tax even if you pay for the land oh no yeah. it's separate it's separate you still have to pay property tax but then you have to pay an inheritance tax on top of that that's what you hey. have to pay an inheritance tax and then every three months you pay property tax which hey. in reality you don't really own this again you don't really own this. It says, now, the, no, it says, now is the judgment of this world. Now shall the prince of this world be cast out. Who's the prince of this world? Esau. We're talking about the military system or the police. That badge or that shield go back to the Roth shield or the red shield, the Rothschild family, which is an insignia of they own everything. Yep. You talk about the IRS, that talks about them. That was a business thing that was a monster created on Jekyll Island. The, the IRS is as federal as federal express. That's a private entity that's robbing people. The, fed, yep. the federal, federal Reserve. Reserve. Yep. And, and check it out. And with the, the elder Todd, I got a scripture for you. What he just said, and this primarily takes place here in America, man. Here in America, man. Like he said about them, about here it is, your father leaves you some land, and Esau comes down and, and, and swoops in on it, right? This is Deuteronomy chapter 19, verse 14. Thou shalt not remove thy neighbor's landmark, which they, right, which they of all time has set in thine inheritance, right? Which thy, that they in all time has set in thine inheritance. That's our inheritance. Esau, the so-called white man, right. came over here. Some of us here are so-called Native Americans. That's yeah. right. Yeah. And the white man stole this right. land from us. That's right. Our ancestors yeah. murdered stole this land. Murdered, stole, and that's a, that's a documented fact. Yeah, we, we all know that. We all know that. Whenever you crack us, whenever the, the other nations know what, what the white man did to the Native Americans over in America was wrong. Hey, 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 it's, it's, it's like it's like that, that movie Three Kings with uh, Ice Cube and um, what's this guy? What's this guy's oh, name? Uh, 
George Clooney and Ice Cube was in the movie. And um, Mark Wahlberg, now when the Arab dude had Mark Wahlberg torturing him, he put a CD in his mouth and he was pouring oil and, yeah, and on top of the CD to go in his mouth. And then he said, look, uh, look at what you did to the black man. The king of pop. He, he, oh, he wants to die. He wants to die his that. skin like he's well, a white man. He's a, you look what you did to the black man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what they said. He's in a, there. What happened to? Yeah, but he did it cold. He yeah. went in cold. He said, oh, my man, what shall I like, my man? Yeah. What happened? Yeah. Hey, the dude was acting all simple. That yeah. motherfucker just got cold. What happened to my fucking shots? He, he, he. He was acting all simple. He said, what do you mean? You don't know what I mean? When I said, wow, well, what, no, he said, what you do to Michael Jackson? Right. What the white man do to Michael? Yeah, that cold is the hell. What you do to Michael Jackson? You don't know what I mean? You know Michael Jackson. The king of pop. pop. He, he. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Back, yeah. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, the hell, the hell, the hell. He said, what you do to yeah, Michael yeah, Jackson? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, white you make him, and then, and then he broke it down. That's right. You make him look like a skin. white skin. You make him look like a white skin. You know what I'm saying? He's a skin, yeah, three kings. He's a white skin. What you talk about? 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 Mark Wahlberg, right, the character yeah. played by Mark Wahlberg. Yeah, you know the Michael Jackson, the king, you don't know who Michael Jackson is. The king of the king of the king. Yeah, 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 you gotta see the movie, man. Yeah. Hey, you crack up and you see it. Yeah. Yeah, three kings. Three kings. But like, that's he, real shit, though. That's ooh, real talk ooh. right there. You'll make Michael Jackson feel bad about being a black man. And then he just started talking with the guy, man. Hey, oh, read that for like, well, Hold up, before you read that, hold that. Yeah. Come back with that. Like, read that again for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Okay, yeah. Right, this is Deuteronomy chapter 19, verse 14. Right. It says, Thou shalt, thou shalt not. Remove thy neighbor's landmark. Wait a minute. Remove thy neighbor's landmark. Um, California, uh, uh, California, Texas, and uh, Arizona was Mexico. all Mexico. 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 Yeah. You came over here and set borders, and now you're telling Mexicans that they're border jumpers, that they're illegal yeah. aliens. Yeah. That's right. How the hell are you going to tell somebody they're an illegal alien when they're indigenous to this land? That's right. right. Yeah. You came and put borders over here. You removed. The, the neighbor's landmark. Yeah. You removed the That's landmark. Right. Now you're talking about when they come across the border, first of all, they're Native Americans. They're That's native right. to this land. Right. California, Texas, and Arizona was once Mexico. Hey, well, you know what? You know, beyond that, there was no border. Those borders you mentioned in California and all that, that was done by the Spaniards. Prior to the Spaniards putting those borders down, there was no borders. That's right. Gad and Isaac and other tribes, these people free. Spaniards they knew, right, yeah, but, but, but they knew, that speech, right. but they knew, like, like going back in the ancient time, yeah. they knew that this was, this was land, yeah, right. this was Gad, this was Ruben, right. and they moved freely amongst each other, they knew that they were brothers, right. you know, yeah. but, but the, Lord, the Lord set that up, going back into the ancient world, it was the same thing, all right, but it said, thou should not remove thy neighbor's landmark, which they of all time have set in thine inheritance, which thou shalt inherit the, in the land that the Lord thy power give thee to possess it. Because that was the part of your inheritance. That was a blessing. Then you got the land. You got land, cattle. You was given your own, you know, your own starter kit. Starter kit. Yeah. And that's what they, now you bring it up, that's what they were doing in South America. That's how we know that they're part of the 12 tribes. Okay, was, you had your own uh, hacienda, like a ranch. And it was for the, the gauchos. When they were 12, when you were 12 years old, you married your wife, you had your own, your old hacienda, and, and you was able to, uh, they set you up, when you was able to take care of yourself and be self-sufficient. Well, that's Israelite stuff. And what the so-called white man did, he came in here and he shook that all up. He said, no, we taking everything, man. And yet, they said that they, in God we trust. They swore in the Holy Bible, but they violated every law established in the Holy Bible. Which proves, further proves, that they the devil. Hey, hey, uh, that scripture about that psalm. I got one more. Hey, that scripture in psalm where it says, Thou thought I was such as one as thee. I was such as one as thee. Right. To this very day, the so-called white man think the whole Heavenly Father's dealing with him. Oh, you seen him? That Edomite that just yeah. came? Yeah, 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 he yeah. was like, oh. Yeah, wait. Yeah. But then he got hit up with that truth. Yeah, he, got he was getting cut. Yeah. But you can tell, he probably, and he might even thought he was a Jew. You know? Yeah. But now I got another, yeah. another code cut. This is Proverbs 22, verse 28. Remove not the ancient landmarks which thy fathers have set. Okay, and again, 
the so-called white man is guilty of that, man. That's right. All right, the Lord specifically said, don't move the landmarks of the ancient fathers, man. Yep. Well, they came over here with the, with the uh, tribes of Gad and Reuben and the rest of the tribes, <laughs> and they just took over every goddamn thing. Hey, they that? built up on Indian burial ground and That's everything, right. man. Hey, they said they broke over 400 peace treaties. That's right. We're, That's right. we're in a heavy duty state right now, Massachusetts. Yep, man. That's yeah. where it all took place, man. Yeah. As a matter of fact, there's a highway over here called the Mass Pike, and the symbol is like a Puritan hat. Yeah. Now, if you go back to the 60s and 70s, the old symbol was a Puritan hat with a bow and arrow going through it. Yeah. And they thought it was too controversial, so they took the bow and arrow out of that. Well, look, because the people were wondering, what the hell is that talking about? And going back to when they came here and had wars with, yeah, the so-called people, ain't nothing pure about them, yeah. right? They landed well, on the shore. It, it goes back to when they came and took this place from Gap. That's right, yeah. They landed well, look, on the shore. No, that's it. Look at the word mass. It means death. This is John chapter 10, verse 10. It says, the thief cometh not, but right the thief. The, the so-called white man want to hide the fact that he's a thief. He stole, he stole every goddamn thing. Say hand it. The word yeah. crime, the word crime itself comes from the word crimson, which means red, which goes to the so-called white man. Because he's red. I don't know. Then he tell everybody else is a thief except him. He stole this land. He stole us from one continent and brung us to him. Who's a thief? And any black and Latino that's acting like that, they're learning it from you. Yeah. The scripture said, Proverbs 3 and 31 says, Envy not the oppressor, nor choose any of his ways. Going to tell how they all want to be white now. You got Sammy Sosa, you got Beyonce, Michael Jackson, bleach in the damn skin. Little Kim. Yeah, Little Kim. Everybody, Nicki Minaj, Nicki Minaj who's black, and she's white, looking like a damn Barbie doll. Damn near the whole country. Get out of their damn mind. Get them all up. Damn near the whole continent of Jamaica is, is using that bleaching, bleach. that bleaching cream. Look on YouTube, they show you. They're sitting there bleaching their skin there in Jamaica like crazy. What's his name? That Cuddy Ranks is another one no, no. singing song. Oh. And no bleach, no bleach. Yeah, bleach off the skin. Yeah, yeah. Off the skin. yeah. Well, yeah they, they, they bleach their skin left and right. Now, this is back up what the brother said about they learned that from Esau. This is Proverbs chapter 12, verse 26. The righteous is more excellent than his neighbor. But the way of the wicked seduces them. Yep, yep. All right. People are seduced by the ways of the wicked. Yep. The so-called white man. They're seduced yeah. by his ways. Yeah. They, they get caught up into that Babylon juice, man. You know, they think, they sit there, oh my God, we got to get blue eyes. We gotta, you got all these niggas yeah. dying their hair blonde, man. And that's a curse, man. Yeah. That's a curse in the scriptures, man. To have blonde hair and blue eyes is a curse. That's leprosy. Yep. Leprosy of the hair and leprosy of, of, of uh, the eye. Yep. If you go into a house that got mildew covered all over it, you want to get the hell out of it. Yep. So what are you doing hanging around a white man, man? Well, you know He's what? a walking piece of mildew, you man. say something? Let me say this, man. The reason why the whole world is deceived, we don't have the picture, but Lord, we're going to get our signs together. Uh, Chesedet Borgia, yes. so-called Jesus Christ, because, see, history is written by those who Win, win, the winners. So the whole world looks at these so-called white people, including the people on our side here, the Israelites, and primarily I'm gonna talk about the women. I think it's the women the men too. Yeah, no, the men are making You motherfuckers, you really yep. think the white man is God? Yeah. Or to look lighter, you're more light skin, that makes you better. Yep. If your hair's a little straighter, that makes you better. You know, you know what I'm saying? You had, you had niggas back in the summertime, dark skinned Jakes, say they didn't want to come outside because they didn't want to get no black. Yeah. That's the royal color. Who you call God and Christ are dark skinned black men. Yeah. The darkest of dark, the rich in the soil. As they said, the darker the berry, the sweeter the juice. That's the royal color. You even got our own people that got a problem with being dark skinned. That's wicked as all hell. Following the ways of the so-called white men. That's right. Yeah, that's right. That's why the Lord said, Jeremiah 10 and 1, learn not the way of the heathen. That's right. You're supposed to learn how to be like him. He's uncivilized. The so-called white man is known as a beast in the Bible because he doesn't have no, 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 no boundaries. He doesn't fear the most high. He thinks he's God. That's why he gives homosexual rights. That's why he gives had agents or, or, or associations like Nambula. That's why they don't prosecute the so-called 
of Catholic priests. This is all the BS that goes on in America. That's why they don't stop the drug trade. They're the ones bringing the drugs in. Every wickedness is from him. Yeah, all these wars are for drugs, you know? The war in Afghanistan was for, they could get the poppy field. Opium, Vietnam. Vietnam. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, we're going to the back. Oh, that's all night. Yeah. Well, Vietnam was a drug war. Right. That's all 58. Vietnam wasn't even a war. It was a police action. Right. Right. Korea. Yeah. Korea was that all these wars. Drug yeah. wars. Yeah. That's all it was. Vietnam they, was a drug war for them to get the opium that was there in Vietnam. And then that opium right. made its way to the United States. Right. 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 Made its way to the United States in every hood in the ghetto, and then when they when the uh, when Congress needed money to take care of the uh, the contrast, but uh, Congress would not give Reagan money to take care of that situation. What did they do? They came up with a scheme. So the scheme was to let the Colombians bring cocaine in mass amounts into the United States. Out of the north, out of the north, they ran contra. That was Reagan out of the north. So they, they brought the uh, cocaine into the United States by mass. In mass numbers, and what did they you do? They hired a Jake on the West Coast named Freeway Ricky Ross. That's right. And he dealt with a connect named Danilo Blandon, who yep. was connected to the Colombian cartel. Well, yeah. remember, we yep. went to the movies to see the movie. Yeah, yeah. That's where they got the job. Kill the messenger. Kill the messenger. Yeah. Kill the messenger. But the real, the real Ricky Ross. Not that fucking asshole. Yeah. Rap yeah. Like that. The, the real Ricky Ross. He Ricky took the Ross. name. Yeah. These so-called rappers, they took the name yeah. the real. Gangsters and drug dealers. Rick Ross, the real guy. Rick Ross was the top drug dealer. Yep. Was the, he came out and said the CIA hired him. Well, yeah. the, the, the really the guy Gary Webb was a, a reporter who who, bought, who wrote a book or an article called The Dark Alliance, and yep. he brought out the connection between the Contra and the government and the drugs in the inner city. That's right. And he brought it out with uh, Blondone and the Blondone, rest of them. Blondone, right. That was. Informants or on the CIA payroll. Pablo Escobar. Yep. Yep. All them guys. Pablo Escobar was set up by the so-called white man, the government, yep. to be who he was, and that's why yep. you notice. Yep. Why, yep. Why, yep. Why documentaries on Pablo yep. Escobar. Yeah. When he went rogue, or when he went on the run, right. why were they so? Why did they want? They didn't want to kill him. Yeah, they made because sure. He yeah. Didn't incriminate they wanted to silence him. Yep. And it wasn't a thing of okay. Well, Pup, what's that? Thing? They didn't want to capture him and arrest him. They wanted to kill. Silence. They wanted to silence. They wanted to silence Pablo Escobar. That's torture. Those are mustaches. Those are mustaches. I don't see them horses. That's the horses on the concrete. No, but I'm telling you, those are mustaches. Those are Spanish. I'll tell you what type of horses those are. Those are Spanish mustangs. But they're small. But those are young horses. Those are young horses. But the mustangs get a little bigger than that. Those are Spanish mustangos. Look, that's the Indian horse. That's the horse that our people bought, rode, because the Spanish mustangs are quicker. The native warriors, we want them to rode those horses because they were quick. But it was quick, and they, you know? They got them on the concrete. Man, the yeah. white man's a devil, man. Yeah. Hey, well, it's a good thing. The Lord's uh, about to take them out, man. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Hey, because all this wickedness, they're behind it. But they, they sit there. Matter of fact, I had the scriptures smite me, Zechariah 11 and 5. All right? They sit there and act like they didn't do nothing. The brothers were listening to all these so-called drug lords, El Chapo, uh, 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 all these guys. That was Saddam Hussein, right? The, the, the so-called terrorists. Osama oh, bin Laden, Ben Well Noriega. Noriega. Yep. They, look, the government was behind all of them, man. That's right. All right, the CIA, which yeah. goes back to the so-called white man, the elites, the international banking family. They control all these things, man. All right, the Bin Laden family. Yep. They all, they all juiced in. You got the scripture. Zechariah 11 verse 5. Whose possessors slay them? Right. Whose possessors slay them? Because why? You are possessors. You so-called white people. We in your power. We under your jurisdiction. We under your rulership at the end of the day. All right, you call the shots, man. You make all these wicked, evil laws, man. So I said, who's possessors? Because guess what? When you go back into the lynchings, guess who was doing the lynching? It wasn't blacks. Black people wasn't lynching white people. Yeah, you gotta go. That's too much for you to smile. Too much reality. But guess what? And you can Google it, man. Put the word lynching. Negroes being lynched. And guess who's gonna find out that thing? Yeah, you, so-called yeah. white people. Yeah. Yep. And, and you think you're going to get away with that? You thought the Lord was going to uh, bring justice? 
judgment on you. Go ahead. Whose possessors slay them and hey. hold themselves not guilty. Right, and they act like they didn't do nothing, man. Yeah. Because they put off, and not even just going back to the 60s with the lynchings and hangings, but also going into like the brothers speaking about all the different drugs and guns that they put in Jake's neighborhood, poisoning the, the, the food. When you, you, uh, the water you drink is poison. They got, remember, lead was the big thing back then. They knew that the, that paint was wrong, man. They didn't have that lead paint in their houses, man. They put it in the projects, man. That's why a lot of these niggas is all fucking weird and fucked out. They was eating the fucking lead paint. Or they, yeah, they got lead poison, man. Then all the different vaccines they shot in the ass. Look at, look, at, look at Flint, Michigan. Flint, Michigan. Yeah. They, that was an experiment right. for you niggas that don't know. That's right. right? They, yeah. The government know exactly what they doing. Man. Hey, well, this brother from uh, Hashia just did a video on that. How the all the them um, public or the, the water is all contaminated. The, the water you use in your your house, your shower, has high levels of toxicity. The, the news reports say if the people knew how toxic the water was. It will be a revolution this day. Yeah. That's how toxic it is. So it says, yeah, whose possessors slay them and hold themselves not guilty. And that's the devil. Who, me? I didn't do it. I'm not responsible for it. Yeah. But you're the same motherfucker that did all this shit, man. Right. Okay. Just like how now you, uh, you, you're you trying to be transparent with the police. So the police got body cams. With the body cams on, the police are still, still fucking good. killing people. Yeah. And they're more. getting off. Yeah, they don't slay them and, them yeah. and hold himself not guilty because right. what you fucking crackers will say, oh, there's the body cam on, but we don't see what happened before you see what's on the camera. What about what happened before? That's the fucking bullshit crackers yeah. try to bring up yeah. and, and justify the cop killing somebody in cold blood. A yeah. woman went on Facebook Live, I think it was out there in Louisiana while she was being stopped by the cops, and her husband was shot. Dead yeah. in the car with her and the kid in the car. Yeah, she was on Facebook. She, yep. she was on Facebook Live showing. Yeah, yeah. And they shot the man and killed him in the car. And he was complying with the police. But, but now they don't care because they gonna they shooting you niggas anyway. Yeah. Like they've been bringing it out about Chicago. We've been speaking on it about it, it ain't just like in Chicago. They go, like, oh my God, them niggas are killing each other. No, it's a lot of cops and government agents that shooting those other niggas. Dressing in black face. That's right. Making it look like it's other blacks killing blacks, but it's actually government agents going in there, like the movie The Purge. Yeah, they got rubber suits. Mercenaries. They got yeah. black looking rubber suits, man. They got they, the videos up. They actually got yeah. it from uh, Hollywood. That's, they, they, they're yep. using those Hollywood masks. They cost a couple G's to get them. Yep. And they could be the likeness of this brother, this yep. brother, yeah. me, yep. this brother here, or this brother. And they wear them and they even have gloves that come with it yeah, that come all the, the way elbow. up to the elbow. Yeah. And it, it's the same color as the mask. Yeah. So they'll go in there with that on with some with some shades yeah. and a hoodie. And then go go and kill some go and kill somebody, yeah. rob a bank, and then they're looking for a black guy, but it was a bunch of white guys at least. And who was the only source to make a movie with Jesse the Body? Um uh, Running Man. Running Man. Running Man, right. Now right there they show you how they do stuff. And that was a, a, a predicted programming movie. That was they, in the 80s. Yep, they show you how they can edit. Remember, he was sitting there telling don't shoot on the citizens. Right. And they edited, it made him look like a war crime. Yeah. Right. And he was telling don't shoot on the citizens. That's the same thing they're doing now. Well, the scuffers, that yeah. group, the scuffers, them scuffers, they, 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 they loop the shit. No, they, they loop it. They can take this video that right now is supposed to be live feed, slice into it, yep. and make whatever they want to happen. Yep. That's the power or the witchcraft of Esau. That's why in uh, what's it, Nahum 3 and 5 or um, Isaiah 47, it said the, the witchcraft. You got credit. Yeah, got you. I got, got one for you right here. This is 2 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 11. It said, at least Satan should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. Right. And then when you look at that word devices, you know what it means? It means evil imaginations, man. This devil, he done figured out ways with his, his devil tree, with the, with the, the uh, so-called camera, the internet, he figured out ways to, to sit there and manipulate people, man. Like I said, he got people thinking that there's a lot of blacks shooting blacks in Chicago, but actually it's not. It's a lot. You got some blacks shooting blacks, but a lot of them is the cops and special agents that's shooting those other right. black gang members, man. That's right. They who three and four and random people. That's yep. right. It says because of the multitude of the hoardings of the well-favored harlot. Right, and, and we probably have to gonna start at the first yep. verse. And this is speaking about actually America, man, because of the multitude 
of whoredoms because America is known about what? Doing as thou wilt, whatever philosophy you want. Right? That's what they exactly. Who three and one? Woe to the bloody city. Right. Woe. Woe. Woe means death and destruction. And this is what the Bible is speaking about. Now, what's the bloody city talking about? Huh? What's the, the bloody city's talking about the whole America, man? America's one great big corporation, man. Yep, that's right. So, whoa. Was that Psalm 23? That Found it. Death. Right. And, and like yep. the, the elder said, Amer how was America established? By the blood of the Native American Indians and the so-called Negroes as slaves. That's right. Yeah. That's the past of America. And the thing is, these so-called white people walking around today, like, I don't want to say that, they're, they have a very dismissive, don't attitude. give a shit attitude about it. Right. Yeah. Like, oh, God, because these crackers don't care. They don't got no well, you know? And these all you niggas don't care either. That's why like, a few years back, when these slavery movies, these different movies are coming out, like the movie 12 Years a Slave came out, yeah. and then the yeah. other one by Nat Turner came out, uh, uh, Birth of a Nation. Of you had yeah. the punk ass niggas on the radio. Oh. They need to stop making these movies like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tired to see we need to move on. Move on. Yeah, 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 but you still in the ghetto. Yeah, so they want you to forget all about your history yeah, yeah. and everything that happened to you throughout the years. Right. Well, that's why they said they're taking slavery out of the curriculum in schools. Yep. They're trying to hide from it. But when you read Ecclesiastes 3 and 15 in the Bible, the scripture said the Lord required that which has passed. Yo, but wait a minute. I'll be on the internet. When I wake up in the morning, like I said, I'm always on my phone on YouTube. And they give you all kind of videos and slavery, and you got other jakes, they just bugged out niggas, but they like somewhat radical. You actually got slave plantations that are in the Mississippi, Virginia, all throughout the South. Yep. The actual cabins where the slaves stay. Yeah, and you got these jakes yeah. going to film it, so it's still like jakes, man. Yeah. Yeah. Even though the so-called white man tries to embrace it, you got so-called yeah. Negroes yeah. 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 Right, that go and film it. And it's that well, if they were the people in the real yeah. nation, yeah, they served slavery on the yeah. plantations. Right? Yeah. And that shit is in your spirit. The yeah. yeah. so-called white man and you other Uncle Tom niggas can try to, to hide it. You can try to redact. You can try to redact that, but you can't. Yeah. They ain't gonna go away. Because it's in the spirit, man. Lord, hey, the Heavenly Father in the scripture says the Lord requires that which is past. Right. You can't erase the past. The Lord himself said he requires the past. Yeah. Why is America going to be destroyed? What the so-called white man is doing now, but as well as what he did in the past. Right. And turn back on his ass. Right. And you always try to tell us, look, can't we all just get along? No. Let bygones be bygones. No, ain't going to let bygones that. be bygones. The Lord, the God of heaven and earth don't deal with that. The God of heaven and earth requires that which is past. That's and right. you're going to deal with what you did in your past. That's right. Man. You're going to deal with it. You're going to deal with it in this lifetime this right now. Yeah. In That's the skin that you're in right now, you're going to deal with shit. it. Yeah. Right. Fuck you you tell black course. people, forget about slavery, but night. you got these little rats, okay, going back to the 40s with Hitler and them, bringing up the Holocaust. Okay? Yep. And he didn't kill no six million Jews. There was maybe two million of them in Europe at the time. It was, oh, a, so hoax. Could, it was a hoax. He couldn't have killed no damn six million Jews at that time. I got a but now, one second, brother, a hundred million Negroes coming across the Atlantic here to the shores of America dead. 77 million North and these are North American Indians killed by you. These are numbers that you have There's no real which, number. Which, which is really a lot more. It's really a lot more. Yeah, yeah, so, I'm so called. Native American. There's no numbers on the Native American. Right. There's so many men. Well, like I had a cousin, my cousin Lonnie. He, he's a historian. A lot of Native Americans were taken from here and sent to the Caribbean. Yes, yeah. Slavery. Sent yeah. over to Europe. 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 The Caribbean. So today you have a lot of Gadites, Rubenites, or Ebonites that were sent to like in the Bahamas. And uh, you got Gadites in the Bahamas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, Cape Verde is a guy in Ruby. Yeah. A lot of Cape Verde, the Isle of Cape Verde. Yep. Yep. This is Isaiah 14, verse 21. Right. It says, prepare slaughter for his children, for the iniquity of their father. Wait a minute. It says, prepare slaughter for his children, for the iniquity of their fathers. That's right. Okay, so wait a minute. The children or the offspring of Columbus, yep. 
okay? The offspring hey, of Washington. Is that what it says? The offspring that are here yes, right now yes, to this says. generation no, right no, now. No, 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 Prepare no. slaughter for his well, children well, no, get for the, the iniquity of their fathers. Read it again. Read it right now. Isaiah. Isaiah 14, verse 21. You're not getting away with it. Read. Prepare slaughter for his children for the iniquity of their fathers. That's Prepare what it slaughter says. for his children for the iniquity of their fathers. Can't what is the iniquity of your forefathers? Your father before you, his father before him, his father before him, his father before him, going back generations and generations back. Correct. Yep. Prepare and slaughter for the children for the iniquity of their fathers. Just like, so like it, just like four or five hundred years ago, our foreparents going generations back suffered that heinous crime of slavery, and the ones who oh, enjoyed it, and the on. ones that enjoyed come it. On. For the crackers okay. back then, the descendants of those white people See, back then, the now it's time to prepare slaughter for you in this day. No, no, no. How did the white man take this land? When, 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 the, when the pilgrims when the, when the, How did, how did the, the white man get this land? Yes. The white man got this land from taking it from the red man. Okay. So, all right. All right. Thank, you. Man. Thank you. Thank you. Right. But they're not, not the, red the man. black man. Forget about that. The all red right. man. Well, you're, you're I right. am a red man. You're talking to a red man. So called. So -called. You're talking to okay. a red man here. So called. Oh, really? What tribe are you? I'm a black Fort Indian. Really? Sir. Yeah. Where are you from? What state? Where are you from? What state? Yeah, what state? Where was where I from? born? No. Yes. Where were you born? Where were you born? I'm dealing with you. Where were you born? Where were, Where you, were born? you born, sir? I was born in Florida. I'm a Seminole. In Florida, man. I'm Nicholas Hold on. States and of I America. Came here. Hold on. Stop, stop, my man. I'm you were you. born in the United no, States. No, no. I was of born. America. I was born in the county of Yuxtap. You were born in the United States. I was States born, no, no, no. Of America. I was born in the County Yuxka. Where were you born? Where was you born? In the County Yuxka. In the County Yuxka. In my where language, I'm going to explain to you if you listen. Okay. In, in, in my language, in the, in, in the, in the Seminole Miccosukee language, before the white man took it over, we called it, my ancestors called the Florida the County Yuxka. And when you translate Ikaniyukska into English, the white man's language, it means the land of the sun, the moon, and their children, the stars. That's, okay? That's okay, hold on, stop, stop. I speak my language. I'm not just some, hold on, I'm not a Walt Disney character. I carry a tribal ID from my tribe. I'm a Seminole Indian from Florida. Well, I'm Seminole and I'm Miccosukee, and I speak the Miccosukee dialect, okay? So first I'm of glad all, to hear that. And okay, I, I, I are you black? I appreciate black? you as a brother. Okay, but well, I'm not gonna judge you because of your skin of color. America. That's why we gotta calm this thing well, down. Because it could be. Okay, that, okay, I know some Blackfoot brothers. The black feet of Montana. You get all offensive in me because I'm, I'm not, white. Man. No, I'm not. Are you no, white I'm or not. Blackfoot? No, 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 brother. Listen, where's your aunt? Where, where were you born? Where were you born? If you don't mind me asking. I was born right here in Springfield, okay, Massachusetts. That's cool. That's cool. Because that don't mean that. I don't mean that. You know, but where were you born? I told you where I was born. He kind of used that. He kind of used that. Where is that? Florida. He ain't told us. Oh. Hey, no more. No more. No more. No more. No more. Where are you born? Give her shit. Give her shit. Give her shit. All right, let me read this again. It says Isaiah fourteen twenty one, and you're not gonna get around this truth. There's no, there's no. Escaping. And I'm gonna say this. Let's say I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go be gay. No, 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 no. I'm not gonna deny it. He said he's a black foot. Whatever. Yeah. I'm gonna do it. If you're a black foot in deep, you're, you're one of our people on here. So you standing here trying to defend the so-called white man. You on the wrong side. You on the wrong side. You on. You're doing yourself a disservice. And your ancestors. White exactly. or black. There you go. And no your ancestors. White or black. Black, red, purple. No, 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 no. That, That's your time. I don't want to hear that. It says, prepare slaughter all for his children, for the iniquity of their fathers. So as the elder was going to earlier, that's, what, that, all that's, what, the Lord, that's what the Lord got planned out. We are all brothers. We are all, right? all he brothers. Said, the Lord said, prepare slaughter for his children. Well, who is right? To a degree. Well, you know what? Well, let's go deeper. We got to go fast. He going to get it. He going to get it. Who's not a brother? The so-called white man is our brother. But he's our brother. Wicked 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 brother
I don't know. Which is it? Which one? Which one? Oh, it'd be the devil. That's the devil. The devil lies. Okay, I, 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 I have to say hey, this hey, now. Hey. I have to say this now. You see what you life. what you got all across the United what States. Is your it, it's been going on for years and years. It's my basically called this. Year old it's called erasing the my ancestors. Father, it's passed on. My father was in the Vietnam Third Ranger Battalion Special Forces. God bless you. My father was a ranger, served in Vietnam. My grandfather God served in you. World War II, Second Division, Screaming Eagles. So what you say? God bless you. Okay? My we fucking father and people. grandfather served in this fucking low-life country. We are. Okay. What they did. Okay. This country okay. sucks. Okay. There you go. Now you now you all right, I got, I got, a, I got a, I got a scripture. Check this out. Listen, this out the Holy Bible, right? This, this is uh, the Book of Psalms, chapter fifty-five, verse twenty-one. You gonna give me some rain stuff? I'm gonna give you some scriptural stuff. Some Psalms. This is Psalms. It says, the, the word. Matter of fact, let me go to fifty-eight first. Now come back. Psalm fifty-eight, verse three. It says. The wicked are estranged from the womb. Woo. They go astray wow. as soon as they be born. Speaking lies. All right? Because they ask you, who is your nationality? You said you were a black foot. Now you're saying you're not a black foot. So which one is it? You lied to us. Your brother was honest with you. No, I'm a Canadian Indian. I'm black foot Indian. Okay, okay you are. Canada? Okay. Yes, the am. black okay. foot are from Canada. Okay. Well, you got the black foot and you got the black feet. The black feet. Uh, it's no. not color, no, no. dude. I ain't talking about color. I'm talking about, about tribal. I'm talking about tribal. I got a strange word. Blackfoot Indian. Okay, Kevin, the blackfoot. Oh, you got the black foot and you got the black feet. The oh. black feet of Montana. The black foot of Canada. In, in the southern part of the country. Absolutely. I mean, which, the, the I'm afraid it's not going to matter. Is, the point of the matter why it, it matters is because you had the so called white man. He done took this land from the Native American Indians, pushed them into reservations, took this so-called black man, right, brought him here as a slave, forced him to work here, and then took his identity from him and told him that they, he was African and, and all, he lied to him. So this, this, we understand why he lied because the prophecy said that. That's why I went here. Matter of fact, now I'm going to go back to Psalms 55. Psalms 55, verse 20, 20, uh, 1. It said, in well, verse 20, we started 20, I'm sorry. It said, he have put forth his hands against such as be at peace with him. Because when the U.S. Cavalry first came over here and encountered the Native American Indians, the different they do with the Bible. It's, 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 you reading it. U.S. Cavalry. It's not yet. Oh, who, who, who came? Yeah. The scriptures say nothing matters to a fool. So I'm just going to speak to the camera. Number one, number one, when the Puritans, because the brother was going into the symbol on the mass pike, being a hat of Puritan, it, 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 it had a body. bow and arrow through it, excuse me, it had a bow and arrow through it. Now the Puritans, when they came, they landed here on so-called Plymouth Rock in Massachusetts. Right. Now when Way they landed the here, Bible. now when they landed here in Massachusetts, what did they do when they came on the shores? They started stealing as soon as they hit the shores here in Massachusetts because the Indian tribes that were living along the coast, when it became winter time, what they did is they went more inland. So along the coast, they would bury corn and certain uh, and certain vegetables. They buried it in the ground, and they left the teepees, and they went inland, and they left that corn there. So when they came back during the springtime, and when the weather was warm on the coast, they would plant the corn and the different crops, and they had that vegetation to eat when they were uh, along the coastline. It was migration. So that's right, a migrational thing. So they were inland during the winter. When they came over here, it was winter time. And what did they do? They dug up the stuff that the natives left in the ground and stole it. They stole the corn the and the vegetables that they had there in the ground. The scripture said the thief cometh not before to steal and yeah, to yeah, kill. Yeah, fuck yeah. Wait a minute. And that's why when the Puritans get up in this turf, yeah, like, like, like the elders so eloquently. Well, like, hold on, I'm talking to the camera. I'm the Bible the camera, is man. all about the history. The history gonna come out. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, yeah, like, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, you can go. You can go. Hey, King Jalala. King Jalala. Okay. King Jalala, man. Come back when you're sober. Okay. Come back when you're sober. Buckshot. 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 Bucksh
Uh, anyways, what the hell did we ask? Absolutely right. Because what happens is on the coast, it's colder. So you don't plant crops on the coast if you live near the coastline of the beach because it's always going to be cold in the ocean. So you don't plant crops. You go inland to plant your crops because it'll be a little warmer on the, on the coastline near the beach. Nothing's going to fucking grow. So whatever crops were planted when the Puritans came, they came during the winter months. That's why they didn't in the Indians. Oh, because they were inland. Because they migrated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They were inland. They were inland. They were inland. They were inland. But then when the weather warmed up, because Esau brought us out. When the pilgrims first came, for that first year, they didn't encounter any Indians. Nope. Until later, when the spring came, then we started venturing back toward the coast to investigate, and we saw these people there. That's right. And stole so Larry's food. It down right. And then also what happened in that same account, the um, Gad had had took uh, the corn and, and different vegetables, the seeds and stuff, and they they uh plant they, they dug it and put it in the ground and covered it up and left it there. So when they would return from back inland during the warmer season, then they could plant and have vegetation there by exactly. by a, a water source. So then you always you always camp by a water, water source. source. You can't yeah. live by a water source. Well, yeah, that's right. Mm -hmm. That's right. That's okay. Right. You got, you, and that's why I like did what we did, Gad and Ruben, we always migrated along along the, the, the water. Inland. Yep. Okay, we always stayed around the water source because that that's what we use the fish. That's why that was popular amongst us, right? Yep. Because it's right there. It's right there. Bay. That's that's yeah. easy meat bay, to get right bay, there. Yep. Yep. Water, you know? Bay, wash yeah. clothes. And, and, and see, and, the, and we understood about the, the different seasons and everything. We understood like the, the elders going into about planting the crops and everything because that goes back into Israel, us being Israel. The Lord gave that's in the law, laws and the commandments. That's right. You know? Right. About planting your crops. Survive and, without yeah. water. And, 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 and we were it. inland and yep. we were out in the plains. Yeah. We found creeks. Yeah. We found lakes. Right. right. You always camp near a water source, man. Right. Yeah. You gotta wash need water. Your animals need water. You need water. You gotta you wash your ass. Yeah. If you don't wash your ass, your body will turn into a weapon against you. Yeah. Fungus, oh, and bacteria. By way, yeah. And by the way, I'm going to say this. Indian people, so-called Indian Native American people, we washed every day. Of course. Yeah. Every day we washed ourselves. We washed and our it, garments. Yeah. Yeah. We wasn't running around in the fuck yeah. skin. Dirty. Hey. We washed. We there believed was no savage. You combed your hair. That's a little bug. We lived out in the wilderness. The little bugs and, 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 and uh, lice. So we combed our hair. We washed our hair. Did all that. Our women washed our garments every day. They that's separate right. themselves on their monthly, on their new moon. Oh, that's, that's right. right. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 We call it a moon cycle. Yep. That's that's right. Amongst the Indians, they still yeah. say. Yep. But yeah. the moon cycle, and that's all native tribes. Our women, when they're period, we call yep. it the moon cycle. That's right. The women went, and then it was funny. Certain women moon cycles coincided with each other. Yep. Right? So it wasn't one woman out in the woods by herself. Yeah, my man. Just like twenty women. Yep. Their moon cycle. So they would go out into the woods and camp by themselves in the woods while they, 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 they wasn't with their man. So, so that that proves it, man. That they were they, they're Israelites, man. You got these clowns talking about the, the Native American Indian tribes, but not Israelites. You out of your goddamn mind. You don't know the scriptures. You don't know history. You don't know a goddamn thing, man. Hey, the All right, it's, it's clear. Right, the, the garments. Yeah, the fringes. With the border, blue. With the yeah. border, with the border of blue. And, and what they used to chant? Hi ya, hi ya. That's the original text that the Lord gave Moses. When you read Exodus, the third chapter. Yeah. 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 Let me say this too. Yeah. Let me say yeah. this too. Yeah. 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 Let me I, say this too. It, the oh, Gadites okay. here also <laughs> had something. The, the Gadites, the Gadites here in North America. They also had something that was also known amongst yeah. known amongst the Cherokee as the as the divining crystal. We call that the Urim and the Thurim. That's right. They called it the divining crystal, where that where the elder men, the shaman, would wear the divining crystal, and he would go he would go into the he would go into the teepee and pray to the Great Spirit. And if there was a situation that happened, the, the image would be beamed into that divining crystal. Yeah. So we call that in ancient Israel the Urim and the Thurim. They had the Urim and the Thurim here also here in North America. It's, it's reported amongst the Cherokee as well as other tribes here in North America. So it's beyond a shadow of a doubt that they're of the ten lost tribes of the nation of Israel.
Uh, no doubt whatsoever. The prophecy said God would be the priest. Right. Micah 2 and 1. Woe to them that devise iniquity and work evil upon their beds. When the morning is light, they practice it because it is in the power of their hands. Right. Just like when you made treaties with the Native American Indians, okay, you, you remove yourself from this land. Once they developed the land and made it fertile to grow vegetation, then they're like, okay, we're going to remove you to another spot now. But you just made a treaty that that's going to be the land where they're going to stay at, but then you make a move to another plot. Then you make a move to another plot. Then you had um, the Trail of Tears, where you had people walk from Florida out to the Black Hills, going, taking a 2,000 mile walk. Both right. women and children withered and died during those heinous conditions, walking 2,000 miles out there to the Black Hills, out there to Oklahoma. Yep. Okay? Woe unto them that devise iniquity upon their beds. Yeah, they practice it, you practice it because it's in your hand to do it. Yeah. Alright, real quick, I mean, even though the, the elder had quoted it, but this was the scripture right here, Deuteronomy chapter 33, that's how we know the Native American Indians of the, the tribes of, of, of the tribe of Gad. Deuteronomy chapter 33, verse 20. And of Gad, he said, Blessed be he that enlargeth Gad. And what's that talking about? Gad means what? A troop, right? Yeah, yep. true. It said, Blessed is he that enlargeth Gad because the Native American Indian, look at North America, is a huge land. Right. Remember, the Lord's Spirit was with the other tribes to come over here, man. That's right. And why did they say they wanted to come over here to this land? So that they could what? Keep, they, the law, keep, keep the, the laws that and commandments that land. they didn't keep in their own land. That's why the Lord removed them and put the Assyrians in their land. That's right. That was the whole purpose of coming over here. So it said the Lord, blessed is the Lord who enlarges God, right? That's why this, and really not just North America, you got Canada was belonging to God too. That's right. That's why you got the brothers up there. A lot of them are Gadites. Maybe this guy could be a Gadite. He that was just acting like a damn devil. He was acting like a He had that firewood. You know? Because he did say Canada. Yeah. Well, this is like, well, you know, different yeah. bands. You got know, the black feet, the black foot in mm -hmm. Canada. Like, that's different, you know. Yeah, like, it, it could have been. It could have been. Hey, the time will tell. But he still could be. The, he could be the two thirds. Yeah. Even though we bring out that you got a lot of Israelites that look like these so-called white people. Well, if they are actually Israelites, they got black blood in them. Like a lot of you Goombas, well, a lot Native of you American mix. A lot of y'all really go back to niggas. A lot of y'all walk and talk about niggas, but a lot of y'all got black that. blood all in you. They know yeah. that. A lot of you got black blood in you, baby. That's why them Jewish girls love you. And guess what? You should be happy <laughs> for that. <laughs> you should be happy because of that. Yeah. 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 Hey, yeah. hey, hey. hey. It's right here, all right? <laughs> hey, well, Eddie said, right here, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? You, you got your juju you beans, your hey, bronze. That's Megan. That, Eddie Murphy yeah, said that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Said that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I said it. That's Megan. Eddie Murphy said that numerous times. Yeah. He said, yeah, yeah. He said, yeah. He said, yeah. just like niggas. Yeah, yeah. yeah. just, yeah. just yeah. like niggas. Because right? they are. Yeah. A lot of you Italians are so called blacks, man. Yep. Which would make you an Israelite. A lot of you so called Irish. Of, of blacks. That's yep. why they got the term the, uh, the, the niggas of, of Europe, man. Yep. Black Irish. Black a Irish. A lot of you Scottish. A lot of you Scottish. Lot of you Scottish. Straight up like. Yeah. Because yeah. you know the, the elites know the history, man. Yeah. Exactly. Those 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 names that are those derogatory. Well, that's that's scriptural. We're gonna be called bywords. Words. Yep. Yep. All, all them. Yeah. Wait. They call them. They call them. Most of the Irish. They call them what? Mix. Mix. Yeah. All right. They call them, like you said, kumba to the Italians. Those are bywords. Yeah. Yeah. Show you. Show you a lot of you were Israel. Polish. You dumb Polak. Like a lot of you Polish were Israel. Hey, what was that movie? Ghost Dog. Ghost Dog. Yeah, Ghost Dog. Remember them? He was picking off the mob. They showed you. They had nicknames. Yeah. Say just like us. Yeah. 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 And they give you hints in these movies. Like yep. You you bozos out there. Oh, y'all always going in the movies. There's a lot of hints in the movies, yeah. but yeah. you gotta be wise to see it. Yeah, that's right. All right. <laughs> you finish what you it's have called, it's yep. called truth hidden in plain sight. That's, that's, right. that's right. That's right. That's right. That's yeah. right. It's the truth. You can't get away from the truth, man. That's right. All right. It says, "And of God, He said, Blessed be He that enlargeth God. He dwelleth as a lion and teareth the arm with the crown of the head, going into the head that the uh, the chiefs wear, right? right. That's, that's right." right. Head, headdress, slot. The head goes yeah. into the blood for the blood for the back. Blood for the back. Yep. yep. That's right. Yep. The setting he provided the first part for himself. Because there, in a portion of the law giver, yep. was he seated. Right. Ooh. So Gad was seated in a portion law as a law giver. 
And, it, there's, um, it, I, and there was a movie out in the 70s, I think it was called Nightmare. And the shaman, the shaman was standing on the mountain. He was standing on the mountain calling on the great spirit and he said, Yahweh. And then while they, while they were sitting by the campfire, he said, Dokla Ash. Dokla is oh, that's Billy Jack. Bill, I'm sorry, Billy, Billy Jack. Billy Jack. Billy Jack. Like, I got, Billy I got Jack. mixed up. Billy Jack, he said, Dokla Ash, blue yeah. flame. Dokla is blue, Ash is flame That's or fire. fire. That's Ash. Ash yeah. is fire in the evening. Because they're Israelites, man. Israel. The Native American Indians are Israelites, yeah. just like the so-called Negro are the real Israelites. The lost 12 yeah. tribes are the house of Israel, man. That's why they kept the fringe All right. their it, it, too. It's something, yeah. it's something, another, another it's something like, just linked like, in the spirit. Yeah. A lot of Jake, Judah, I got Indian in my family. They have no quarrel about that. Then you got a lot of Ephraimites, so-called Puerto Ricans, said, what's up, my nigga? And there's no backlash against that. Why? Yeah. Because it's linked in the spirit. It's spiritual, We're family. It's spiritual man. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and like, and look, the, the Irish boy, or Italian boy, got offended at me. But yeah. really, like I said, he better be happy if he do got any of that, that nigga blood in him. Because that's going to be the only thing that's going to save your ass when you come back. You're going to die, but it's going to be a reincarnation. It's going to be a tra changing of places. Right now, we were the slaves. But in the future, in the kingdom of heaven, the so-called white man is going to be the slave underneath the real Israelites, the yep. so-called minority. That's, that's that's trading places. That's judgment. why you put your man Donald that's Trump on the damn office. Yep. And because you just went through eight years of Obama, and then white people's mind across the continent of the U.S. <laughs> it's, this thing could really be a real thing where these niggas get power. And what what is the main thing you're worried about? Aren't they going to do to us? The same thing that we did to you. Hey, but hell yeah. But everything is so messed yeah, up. Right. Like you said, like the elder said, they was like, well, well, Trump, they was like, a first was a breath of fresh air. Yep. Yeah. He's so glad. Which Obama was nothing but a goddamn puppet. He was a, a supreme Oreo cookie, man. Yeah, Obama he, didn't right? do shit. Obama was a big time Oreo he cookie. He's a demon. He's a piece of shit. Yeah. yeah. Only thing he did was help the faggots get married. Right. And, and, yep. and he bailed out, and, the, and bailed banks. out the bankers yep. that put him in that spot. The presidency is a joke, man. It's a job. It's not the, they don't run. They don't call the shots. They're puppets. Yeah. They do. They do what they're told. They right. end up like Abraham Lincoln or John F. Kennedy. That's right. But they don't yep. do what they're told. Hey, but you know, those what? two guys didn't do what they were told. Yep. And they got got moved off the scene. And, and publicly, they yeah. embarrassed. Yep. Yeah. The same way, they both got shot in the head. That's right. Yep. And okay. Then, yeah. Yeah. And, and, and you know what? And that's they got taken off of here, like Wolf said. That's how. That's they how, how they got taken yeah. off. Of that's here. how Esau gets dealt. This is Micah two and two. It says, and they covet fields, going back to them taking this land from yeah, Jed. That's right. And they covet, and, and, and even still today, and even yeah. still today, they're over there in Iraq, Afghanistan. That's right. Well, you think? South Africa. They stole South from, Africa. They yeah. stole from yeah. Ham. Yeah. yeah, from Ham. Elam, remember yeah. they stole Esau. The British Empire went over there and took over Elam. And they stole the lands of all the other nations. Wait, wait, wait. wait, 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 wait over there in Dakota. Oh, over there in Dakota. The, 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 the Japanese, Japanese Yemen. Yemen. Yeah. yeah. The, the British went over there and took over Ammon. That's right. Yeah. Well, that movie, the, the Last Samurai, showed you that. Yep. They yep. went there and they set up a British-style uh, type army there in, uh, amongst the Japanese. They took Ammon over. And they, they yeah. took over Moab too. Now, yeah. the yeah. British ruled yeah. China. Yeah, that's right. As big as that continent yeah. is. Yeah. And the Chinese and the martial arts, they let like East. Well, but then again, little Japan had China in subjection. Yeah, they did. That opium, yeah. they had them drugged up. But you know what, Doug? Go back to what the brother said about South Africa. Right now, the Hamites over there kicking Esau in the ass, yep. putting them to flight. Now yeah. all of a sudden, oh, that's so horrible! They're taking their land. Wait a minute, how did you get there? Yeah, 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 we took yeah, their yeah. land. Yeah. So that's that witchcraft. That's that witchcraft. Yeah. That's why he's hollering over there because he knows in his spirit, deep down in his guts, that their time is up. Hey, Idi Amin did the same thing. He was moving them crackers out of there and them East Indians out of Uganda. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. like get, get the hell up out of here. He was throwing them out. Yo, I work with a Uganda. He broke it down to me. He said, he said, you see, I mean, look around. What the hell is going on here? Why well, I see these 40 people here? What's going on? But anyway, uh, Micah 2 and 2. And they covet fields and take them by violence. Ooh. Right? That's the, that's the so called white man's MO. Violence, man. When he came here and took this land from the Native American Indians, he did it violently, man. No, they didn't yeah. vote for it. They did it violently. There was no vote. They did it violently, and as a matter of fact, from Florida, from Florida all the way up to, to Maine, the entire eastern seaboard, Native Americans were riddled and given smallpox. And that yep. damn near wiped out an entire indigenous population 
along the eastern coast of the United States. Florida coming all yeah. the way up here, past here, going up to Maine. Yeah, there's a lot of Native, Native of Americans were dead all over the place yeah. because of small boxes that two devils brought over here and gave them. That's, That's a lot of yeah. land. Drive I 95 from the top all the way to the bottom and see how long it takes. That's how much That's damage they did. Time. And that's only a, hey. a fraction of the whole shit. Yeah, exactly. If you travel down west like some of us have, all the way to California, this is a big land. Yeah. I'd have been to Canada. A flight takes seven hours from New York to California. Yeah, man. Yeah, that's, that's, a long, that's a long, that's a long. So this double did a whole lot of damage. That's yeah. Now, again, yeah. like, like, going back to the point I made earlier, now, now they're hollering because they're getting their butts kicked over there in South Africa, right? But nobody hollered when they were taking South Africa from the Hamites. Right. When they were kicking their butt. Right. When yep. they killed a lot of them. Right. But now them Hamites like, look man, let's get back to the, the, the Lord is putting them back. The Lord is putting them back in that Shaka Zulu spirit. That yeah. ancient Hamitic combatant you know, spirit. Shaka yeah. Zulu. Yeah. Yeah. See, like you fucking old cat belong. <laughs> the reincarnation is in the Bible. That's but right. you don't know the Bible. Yeah. Like I said, old cat. You set up anyway, you're an agent. Yeah. You set up to each other the fuck. We got you figured out. Yeah. You ain't messed up over you, man. Nobody don't take you serious. Your problem, man. whole cab, is that basically a joke. the scriptures say he was 12 and 16. Esau, Esau was trying to yep. get back his birthright and he sighed and cried yep. bitterly like a little bitch. Yeah, and like there was that. no place found. Hebrews 12 and 16, see that's where you fall under whole cab. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I believe it's Hebrews 12 and 16. Yep, and we can read that about how Esau cried bitterly about losing his birthright. Number one, it was set up in the spirit yeah. that Jacob was going to be the ruler and the master over you anyway. Yeah, while you that's, were in that's the womb, what it is, man. From the womb. Like I said, I don't so think, stop crying, I don't think he got a Sicilian bone in his body, man. Okay, I think you an Edomite. Yeah, man. man. You, you going out like a straight up Edomite, man. Yeah. It's, it's all the book of Hebrews, chapter 12. Hit dog or hollow. That's right, that's right. Uh, Verse 16, Hebrews 12 and 16. Least there be any fornicator or profane person as Esau. Any fornicator or profane person as Esau. Esau's profane. His own, his mother and father told him, don't deal with them damn Canaanites. You can deal with any yep. other woman out there, but stay away from the, what the Esau do when they got him. Yep. Cup two Canaanite women and had babies with him when he was told not to. Now Jacob, on the other hand, listened to what when Isaac and Rebecca told him, look. Don't deal with them Canaanites. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. That's an, an example of Esau, all right? He's profane, all right? That's yeah. right. And, and see, and that's why, too, you got you got whole cab and a lot of these other so-called Christian apologists under the, the leadership of these de devils. That's why they sit there and they try to say that Esau was done away with during the, the Jewish and Roman War. They don't believe They never prove it. But they try to sit there and, and they want to get rid of Esau because why? They don't want you to find out that they them low like the most high yep. has no mercy for it, that right. that's going into slavery. They trying to run from it, man. Yep. All right? Yep. But they're not gonna get away. And it's not it's not no opening for these crackers, man. For these devils, which are the uh, uh, nation of Edom, according to the Bible, man. Hey, and Edom was not gotten rid yeah. of during the Roman Jewish wars. Yeah. Matter of fact, Prove it. Edomites participated in the Roman Jewish wars yeah. fighting against the Romans. Actual Idumians was fighting side by side with uh, with Jakes from Galilee and different areas in the northern part of Israel and were fighting against the taxation of the Romans. Actual Edomites was mm -hmm. actually fighting side by side with Jakes during the Roman Jewish wars. Right. And they're Edomites, but the Romans are also Edomites. Yeah. Well, the Roman, but the, the Romans, Romans called them yeah. Edomites. Idumians. Idumians. But the Romans are also Idumians. Yeah, they put separation it's like, like, it's it's like Jewish, Italian, Irish. <laughs> yeah, no, that, they are, that's the Americans. Yep. The, the German, the people that's over there in Germany, like Russia and America. A lot, the rulers and everything of Germany and Russia, the rulers and everything, they're all the same batch. They're Edomites. They're the yeah, same yeah. batch of Edomites, man. Okay. You got Edomites that's a Sprechen Sie Deutsch. Right. You got Edomites that <laughs> are Espanol. Yeah. Yeah. You got Edomites that uh, speak Kurova. Yep. <laughs> okay? You Kurova. Yeah. Yeah, you got Edomites that try to try to do the fancy dance and try to pass themselves off as Native Americans when they're oh, boy, fucking so Edomites. Oh, because Esau, oh, oh, Bob, Esau, Bob, Bob, Esau Bob, implemented Bob. something Bob. called erasing the oh, ancestors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, when, when, yeah, when they instituted yeah, yeah, what's yeah, yeah, called yeah, yeah, the, yeah. the Indian blood quantum. When they instituted the Indian blood quantum and they started what's called erasing the ancestors, what Edomites was doing all throughout America in the town halls, all throughout this uh, Omarca, what they were doing was they were getting together and the birth certificates of Native Americans 
they were changing it instead of saying Native Redacted. American. Redacted. They, were, they were changing it saying, okay, this guy, he's Negro. He's black. So then in future times, when you come to find out that you got Indian ancestry in you, <clears throat> and you go back, and they go back and trace the birth certificate, oh, well, your, your great-great-grandfather -great on your father's side was a Negro, so you don't, not qua you don't qualify tribe, as right? an Indian, so you can't become a part of, of this right. tribe, the Miccosukee tribe. Because or you this can't tribe. claim any benefits on Exactly. Land. With Title. the BIA, so you can't get a BIA check because what they did was they did that slick shit in the um, town halls throughout America, changed the birth certificates from saying Native American to saying Negro. But now crackers are coming and say I got one quarter Cherokee blood in me, so that makes me Cherokee. They get it. And you could get on the rolls of a tribe. Yep. But <laughs> those of us it. that are born here that that have a uh, if you want to say Indian ancestry, Indian blood in our family line, you can't be on the rolls of a tribe because of that bullshit that you devils was doing. I show you You're the devil. You're just yeah. the devil all the way around, satanic, and, 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 sorry, demonic. And to show you how sleep our, our so-called people are, I'm talking about you Native Americans um, in particular, ain't none of you fighting against that. Say, wait a minute. How comes the white man can come in but not the Negroes? Yeah, no, yeah. You, you go along with it. Because you love because you love this fucking yep. crack. Yeah, it's like Uncle Tom's. Only you a know, few. Uncle Tomahawk. Uncle Tomahawk, yeah. It's only, Tomahawks, a, few. Yep. It's only yep. a few. And I, like, I know one particular elder, so to speak, as far as the tribe. Uh, the guy, uh, one, of the, one of my so-called tribal elders back home, Chief James Billy of the Mickelsilkin Seminole. He was, he, uh, he's still living. He's, he, he fights for the so-called black. I'm going to use that phrase. So that's what you're going to stand, right? He fights hard. Okay, Chief James, he's a straight up so called full blood. He always, well, he, he's an older brother. My father knew him. Uh, he's a Vietnam vet. Chief James Billy of the Mikasuku. He always fights hard for the so called leader of the fuck y'all. You can't do that. A certain other Uncle Tomahawk travel is out. Well, fuck them, black and He's like, oh, fuck that. These people been with us all this time. Right. You can't do that. That's right. That's right. And the same goes for all the other tribes. Our people, man. The it's Hispanic it's tribes, it's the, the, the West hey, Indian. So, let me say so, this too. Yeah. Always, always blessings to Chief James Billy. Yeah, yeah. make a soup. Yeah, man. and you know what? And that's the spirit of Yahweh Ba Shimmy Yahweh Shai, the yeah. Heavenly Father and His Son. Because he, he said he was going to close the water. He said he was going to close up the preachers. preachers there. That's right. So that's why the Lord is bringing. You got the Ooh. tribe. You see, all of us have different tribes. Yeah. All right, I'm, I'm a Reubenite. This is the apostle of Reubenite. You got Judah, ben, Benjamin, uh, <laughs> Gad, all right, Ephraim, Ben, Dally. You, got all, Dally. you got all of us yep. coming together. You see the other kids. You got Judah, you know, like they say, blacks and browns. All right, that's the tribe. That's the Lord said. He's going to close up those breaches. And it starts man. with the elect. It starts oh, with hey, the brothers yeah. that's doing what we're doing. Hey, like, like the brother said, black and brown. Now, you know this dude, um, George Lopez, they, they're doing a comedy show. They yeah, called it. They, they right. called it the Black yeah, and Brown Get Down. It's up there now. They call it the Comedy Get Down, but it was originally the Black and Brown Get Down, where he's <laughs> doing comedy shows with with top black entertainers because mm. he's trying to get Issa, them hardcore Mexicans. I'm not gonna call them Issacar because if they're Issacar, they're brothers. If they so called with that Mexican fucking spirit, they got this thing against the Negro. But uh, George Lopez did to his grandmother. His grandmother hated black people. You know what he did to her? He got her uh, um, a nurse's aide who was a black woman to take care of his grandmother. To make his grandmother uh, get rid of that racist attitude she got toward yeah. black. She got to deal with a black woman taking care of her every day. That's he right. did that to his grandmother. Hey, because his grandmother has that hatred for black people. That, that was instilled in them by the fucking Spaniards. Slavery. Yep. It happened to all the tribes. All the tribes. Because yeah, they, got, they got West Indians. They hate, yes. they hate, they hate, they hate Mexicans. You got West Indians calling Mexicans wetbacks. How the fuck you got yeah, here? Yeah, your banana, yeah. Your banana porch That's monkey right. ass. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Got the, the, the typical old West Indian going against the so-called Negroes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. You're American black. You're American black. You're American black. You're lazy. You no, no, man, man, I'm working there for a generation, but hey, 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 come on, brother. Come on. <laughs> that's all the tribes. That's yeah. all the tribes. Everything the first yeah. sense, the yeah. Sense too. yeah, that's the first sense. Yep, that's right. Yeah. Straight up, the Judah, the Negro, yeah. they got a yeah. problem with the yeah. French side. Yeah, but yeah. 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 the French side, but they got the West. Yeah. Yeah. You must be the West Indian. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. 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 What that, all that shows you is who the real, we're the real Israelites, man. That's the curses. There it is, we were separated.
Now the Lord's bringing our tribes back together. That's right. And we realize that we have one common enemy, and that's the so-called white man. That's right. Hey, that's Revelation 11. Which is the devil, according, according to the Bible. Bible. That's right. Yeah. that's right. El blanco son diablo según la Biblia. And the kingdom yeah. going down. Yeah. Son verdad. Son yeah. verdad. Yeah. That's right. El blanco son diablo según yeah. la Biblia. Jesucristo, hermano negro. That's right. El blanco un mentiroso. Yeah. Todo blanquito son mentiroso. That's right. That's right. See? The pinche gueros. Yeah. Yeah. Todo, right. todo blanquito son mentirosos yeah. con, con una lengua yeah. venenosa. That's right, yeah. según la Biblia. I got a precept for you. Revelations, Revelations 11, 11. It says, after three days and a half, the spirit of life from the Most High enter into them. Right, and that's what's in us, the spirit of life. Yep. Giving us our identity. We ain't calling ourselves black or Puerto Rican or Hispanic or, or Jamaican. We calling ourselves by the name the Lord gave us, which are the Israelites. That's right. We're the Israelites. The spirit of life is the truth. This holy Bible. That's right, baby. It's entering into us, man. Go ahead. Entered into them and they stood upon their feet. We've been standing out here, man. You had the, you got the apostles earlier today. They they were standing out there, man. You had the other elders in the other camps in New York and throughout the United States and the rest of the world. You got the prophets standing on their feet out here prophesying the destruction of America, That's man. Right. Right. Yep. Through the Holy Spirit of the Heavenly Father and His Son, Yahweh, why Yahweh shot. That's right. And great fear fell upon them. And great fear has fallen upon these devils, man. Which saw them. Which see us because they come by and they see us. They're like, what the hell is that? Yep. They see the 12 tribe sites. How the hell they find out that? Because they wanted so-called blacks to always fight against blacks and blacks to fight against Puerto Ricans and Puerto Ricans and Latinos to fight against the blacks. Yeah. They didn't want us to come back together. But the Lord said he was going to set us in order right before they face. That's their Ross. Yeah. And like I told somebody earlier, see, you don't believe Romans 3 and 3. Romans 3 and 3. Yeah. So what's the Bible? For what if some did not believe? Yeah. Yeah. Shall their unbelief make the faith of the Lord? Why you have a shot without effect? Because you don't believe, y'all don't get a right, Drive right, by right. in your cars, walk by, y'all with your little shoes and your outfits on and cute. Yeah. That's okay, man. But when the shit go down, you better be ready. You better be ready, though. Hey, you know what, man? Like right you now, it's, it's kind of quieted down out here. Because right yeah. now, Stevie's performing right now. Yeah. All right, Stevie in there singing um, Ebony and yeah. Ice right now. Hey, that's, hey, that's Beethoven, right. by the way. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah wicked ass Beethoven. You fucking hey, faggot, whole cabin. Hey, hey, Beethoven. The reincarnation. Yeah. 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 You don't believe in the reincarnation, but you're a demon and a faggot. But the reincarnation's a fact. You talking about all the Well, the Apostle Paul. Is he or he might be here or what? I saw a video of Pastor the Hard and he broke it down. He said, Look, I'm not saying I'm Paul. Man, man. I could be Paul, so he's yeah. another brother. He's another brother of the Hoover. We don't know. No, okay, man, but, but guess what? Now, now, back. Okay, say yeah. say if Apostle Charles uh, Apostle Paul, what is that to you? Yeah. Yeah. How does that stop this word from coming out God, and, and what we saying from not being true? That's you being a whole ass nigga, man. But you, yeah. and you know, like, like, like this brother walking around saying he's Ezekiel, Isaiah. Hey, brother, you Jeremiah. Oh, you wanted to talk. Come on, man. We don't do none of that stuff, man. We don't, and, you, we and, you, and you know that, man. We, we never walk around here saying this one is that one. Yeah. All right? I mean, look, King David, somebody got to be King David. That's According right. to the prophecy, the Lord said he was going to rise up. King. There's tons of scriptures through Ezekiel the 37th chapter in Jeremiah that tell you that King David's going to be in the last days. Yeah, so somebody got to yeah. be King David. Not the country, yeah. Brothers. Yeah. And, and through the Spirit, we know, and it's through the Spirit, I'm going to say this, that the Lord revealed it to me as well as these other brothers. Right. King Masha is That's King right. David. Right. And, like, and, and like he said, one of the last things I said, he said, you niggas better hope he's not King David, man. Right. Yeah. As much shit as you shoveled on the man. Yeah. Here is the man... The, He's back in the spirit world, and y'all won't let him rest in peace, man. Yeah, two decades. Y'all want to keep stirring shit up with a man that ain't even here, man. That's how I know you a whole-ass nigga. Man. You want to sit there and talk shit about a man that ain't even here. That's wicked. Even niggas in the world, look, we know, I know, and all of us know certain cats in the world that will say, well, look, I'm not going to eat. They might have hated when the guy was alive. Yeah. They might have disliked him, but when you pass on to the spirit world, 
They said, well, you know, I'm not going to speak evil of the dead. Yeah. Like, they'll hold their tongue. Yeah. And these are wicked niggas in the world. Yeah. Yeah. But you wicked fucking monkeys that call yourself Israelites, some of you wicked guys in these other Israelite groups, especially you young niggas, you new upstart motherfuckers, man. Yeah. Talking shit, speaking of man. Yeah, you, you talking about shit that you don't fucking know a goddamn thing about. We was at we, we was at the man's bed in the yeah. hospital. That's right. And we, pray, and we prayed over the man. That's right. We we was there at the man's we we, we, we we've been to the man's house. Okay? We've been we went out to dinner with the man before. So all of you little young uh, uh GMO baby upstarts, you don't know what the fuck you talking about. You you don't have you don't have the ability to say any damn thing about myself. But you know what? It's all spiritual because what it does is further proves what we've been saying that we the men, we the prophets, and very soon you're going to know that the prophets been amongst us. That's right, brother. You, you're on that tribe, man. That's I know. Right. I yeah. am that tribe. That's right. Which tribe, brother? Well, I'm Sephardic Jew. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Oh, Boricua. Yeah, Boricua, yeah. Yeah, 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 okay. okay. Father? Yeah, yeah, we came over from uh, Spain. We fled oh, the Inquisition. Oh, Okay, and that's, a, and that's a false label that they put on us because when you read in the, in the Holy Scriptures and the Torah and the Tanakh, the Lord never referred us as black mm -hmm. Israelites. He referred us as a nation yeah, of Israel yep. right. out of whatever yeah. tribe you come from. Yeah. Now we say so-called black and so-called white for the sake of edification. Yeah. Yeah. So you know who we're talking about in today's terms. Well, yes, but I know the original language. I read the Torah. Yeah. In Hebrew five times. Okay. So, so we're part of Eretz Israel. Okay. Eretz Israel. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
come in the volume of the Bible. There's no ooze down in the Hebrew. There's no ooze down in the Hebrew. Guess what? We don't believe in, hold on, let me say this. We don't believe in the immaculate conception. He came directly from the bloodline of King David. Well, that's what they said. He did it. So no, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. the first. So they house their immaculate yeah. conception. That's what they said. You don't. All right. Well, you know what? That's history. That's history. Joseph was not the stepfather yeah. Yosef. of of the Lord. No, Yahweh. No, no, Yosef. Yahweh. Yahweh was not the stepfather. He was his father. You know. You know. It says. You know. It says in the Torah. It says that 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 Hashem. Do you guys say Hashem? Well, we also. Hashem means the name. Hashem means the name. The name. So what is the name? What is the name? What is the name? That's, that's, that's the place holder. Yeah. That's the place holder. Yeah. That's, yeah. 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 that's, yeah. yeah. that's, that's the place holder. 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 That's the place the surname to me. All right, what the surname? But you only got one name. Yeah. Proverbs chapter 30, verse 1. It says, who hath ascended up into heaven or descended? Bring it back, bring it back. Proverbs 30, verse 4. Who hath ascended up into heaven or descended? Right. Who hath gathered the wind in his fist? Right. Going back into the creation. Right. 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 Who, who, so who, who is the first responsible for this? Right. Who has bound the water in a garden? Right. Water to the oceans and everything. Right. Who has established all the ends of the earth? Who established all the ends of the earth? Right. right. What is his name? Right. What is his name? His name is not right. Well, hold on. Hold on. What is his name? Right. What is his name? And what? It's his son's name. And what is his son's name? Right. So his son is very important. Go ahead. If thou canst tell. So can, can you tell what his name is? What is his name and what is his son? You, you just said Hashem. What is his name? Verse 71 other names. Verse 71 other names. Verse 71 other names. Hashem. This means the name. But the name. Hashem. Shem. 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 Right. Those. But that's. But that's. His name is only one. Check it out. Listen. 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 Uh -huh. And the Lord shall be king over all the earth. And that day should it be one Lord. Uh -huh. You're reading right. English. Right? Right. Uh, exactly. So everybody can <laughs> understand. Everybody speaks English out here. It says, in that day shall there be one Lord in his name. One. One. Not 71. One. Not 71. No, that's 72. 72. 72. That's, 72. Right. that's, yeah, that's right. against the tour, bro. You guys need to brush up on your hand. You got to go back. Brush up on your hand. Brush up on your hand. Come back. You go back. Study and come back. Okay. Okay. I'll come. I'll bring you the scroll. Bring it. I'll give it to you. I'll give you Hebrew lesson. I'll give you a hand. You bring it over. I'll bring it over. And I'll get you Ellen. Bring it. And you bring it. You can't speak to me. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. Bring it next week. Bring it next week. Next week. Bring it next week. 14. Okay, we can go back to Allah. We go back to Ah. We can go back to Ah. Make sure that the Bible is a sign of the fool. Right? Yeah. Class hey, dismissed. Hey, class dismissed. Hey, class hey, hey, dismissed. Hey, 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 he he might. That's not it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. He, he still could be a Jake. He's he's a bug, but he's a bugged out Jake. Yeah. Yeah. But the Sephardic yeah. Jews ain't nothing but a rough A lot of them are, are, are devils, man. A lot of them are spirits. He might just be an Ephraim Mike, though, because he's kind of silly. Silly. Yeah. silly. Yeah. He yeah. might just be an Israelite or Ephraim, but he's gone. He's gone. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. He's been indoctrinated. You talk about the Talmud. He's been indoctrinated by talk the Edomite Talmud. Oh, no, but, but that's okay. This is for everybody. Matthew yeah. 13 yeah. and 9. That's yeah. right. That's right. Psalm 58 and 3. The wicked are estranged from the womb, 
They go astray as soon as they be born, speaking lies. There you go, it's all lies. Yep. Yeah. See, you meant that also. got 72 names. You off track. Yeah, you off track. That's according to, and we went back to the Torah. They say he don't deal with the New Testament. Everything we pulled was through the Old Testament. Of course we read it in English. That's the, the language that we all speak out here. Yeah. All right, his, his dialect, that somebody bullshit that nonsense he speak is it's different from the, the last one with dialect that, that we speak. Because like John the Baptist said, like John the Baptist said, yeah, he was preaching, and he said the Pharisees came to his baptism, they came on a wicked level. He said, who have took you to leave the land for the Lord? Yeah. yeah. And John the Baptist cursed them up. Yeah. He said, bring forth fruits, leave for repentance. Yeah, right. John the Baptist said that. He so thought that, oh, he said, the hell with you, they're right. wicked. So that's a, we're going to stay in that spirit. Yeah. You come up and you ain't right, we're going to curse you that's out. It. That's right. That's it. Hey, hey, he ran into the wrong group of brothers today. That's, that's, it. Right. that's, that's we, it. Yeah, we know, we know the last one for Dodge Wing, and it's fluent because we're in captivity. We, but we, we know it enough. We were fucking we can, we can read it. We can through write the spirit it. Through Come on, man. But can I say this through the spirit of God? He was getting fucked up. He was fucked up. Yeah, yeah. That's why the demons came out. Because the demons came out. He went. The demons popped out. His man was on like, oh, shit. From, yep. from the beginning, he came up talking about he's a brother. <laughs> but then, after the discourse of the conversation, then the real, that the pride, real came that out. That the pride. spirit, yeah. Well, Hebrews four and twelve. The word of the Lord is sharp, quick. Yeah. The spirit, yeah. Yeah. You know where he really got offended because of that town move. That town move. Yeah. yeah. That town move. Because, because he's probably a fat. He's shitting on that town move. Because he's probably a fat. Yeah. Because the town move. The brother put it out. You can pop little boys up the ass. Yeah. Which is no different. Which is no room. different than yeah. the Roman Catholic Church. That's, That's right. it, yeah. Which the Roman Catholic Church, the priest wear the yarmulke, the same that the so-called Jew wears. The, the yarmulke, yep. right. which, which, which disc. Which is basically a right. sun, which is a sun disc on top of the head. But you are yeah. supposed to uncover your head, because in the New Testament, when the Apostle Paul went into that, when thou prayest or prophesied, have thy head uncovered, yep. and yep. the woman yep. is supposed yep. to have yep. her head covered. Yep. Yep. Her head goes back into the old customs, because even them so-called Muslims and all that, the women rep, that's an Eastern custom. That's right. right? Yep. So we know that that's according to the scriptures, and that's right. Do right. not, because yo, your head is where your spirit lies. Right. So if I'm wearing a hat, praying to the Lord, that's out of order. Because my spirit is supposed to be able to just be open. And having a hat, your head covered, it's like blocking your umbilical. It's yep. like blocking your spirit yep. to the most high, having your head covered. So when you pray, Face the east, you're supposed to have the head And they know that, that's why they do it, because it's witchcraft. It's a yeah. reverse of whatever the most side said to do. Yep. And I'm going to say this, we in hell, we in captivity. And we know this, but the campus family, that's beautiful. When you're in the house and you want to serve your prayers and you're home, you can face the east. But if you out in the boat, I always push prayer through the spirit of the, the Lord put on me to push prayer. I always push prayer. If you out walking in the street and you driving in your car, wherever you are, you can pray to the Lord, even if you might not know which direction the east is. Does that mean you can't pray to the Lord? Yeah. No. It's brother, we in hell. Yeah. Hey. Pray to the Lord no matter what situation. Hey, the proof. You might be upside down. Pray to the Lord. Hey, proof of that is Jonah. He prayed while he's in the belly of the uh, uh, of the that great fish, God. whatever it was, and the Lord heard his prayer. Yeah. <laughs> Right, that's 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 that's